you have to be very careful when picking out video games for your kids because some of them are extremely violent. And here to tell us about the best games for our kids and the games that you may not want them playing with is executive editor of Switch.com, Joshua Frulinger. Thank you so much for coming in. Glad to be here. I think a lot of parents really don't realize how much they should be involved and that they really need to check out these games because they can be disturbing. That's absolutely true. Uh, they're going to ask for games this holiday that their kids are getting that are extremely popular. One of the big ones is this one, Call of Duty 4. It's a beautiful game. It's fun. I've played it. I had a blast. But it, I wouldn't want my kids playing it, especially if they were young. It's got themes of you know, nuclear destruction, suicide, and terrorism. So it, you know, if your kids are already used to that, if they've seen R-rated movies, it's fine. If they haven't, this could be a little disturbing for them. Okay. And this Call of Duty 4 is compatible with the Xbox, Xbox 360. Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Okay. And yes. Xbox runs 4? This one runs about 399 399 and yep. you've brought a couple of other games, one yes. we should look out for a bit as parents. Yes, here's Halo 3, one of the biggest games of all time. Um, every kid is going to be asking for it. If their friends don't already have it, they probably already have a copy hidden under their bed. So you're going to want to watch out for this one. It is mature rated, 17+. plus. It's not as violent as Call of Duty 4, but it does have a lot of weapons, it does okay. have a lot of explosions, a little bit of blood. Okay, Viva Pinata, this is one for everybody. For it everyone. right on there. Right, so if you have an older kid who wants to play Halo, but you have a younger kid who also wants to play video games, you don't want to get two consoles, this is a good choice because then they can play this one during the day your other kid can play this one tonight. Okay, and this is a hot commodity this yes, year. Yes, this is the Wii. Nintendo Wii. This one goes for two forty nine. dollars Everyone wants it. It's got the cool controller, and it has Mario, which just came out. It's one of the biggest games of all time. It's extremely fun, and it's rated for everyone. You cannot go wrong with this one. Even adults will want to play this it one. It goes back to the 80s. Who wouldn't want exactly. it, right? And the cool thing about this one is you can actually play it with your kids. Oh, that's great. Yep. And Zelda, you may want to stay away from that. Legend of Zelda, also extremely popular, but this one has some monsters. It's rated teen, so if you extremely young kids get scared of the monsters, you know, a little scared of the dark, avoid that one. Okay. PlayStation. PlayStation 3. Uh, beautiful graphics, also plays high-definition movies. Uh, Ratchet & Clank, Tools of Destruction, is one of the biggest games for that one this holiday. Your kids are probably going to be asking for that one. Also rated everyone, but this is everyone 10 plus. So if you kind of imagine a Pixar movie where it has a little bit of animated violence, animated shenanigans, that's kind of what you're going to get out of that one. Okay, and uh, but Heavenly Sword? Heavenly Sword, also extremely popular, but also extremely violent. A lot of blood, a lot of blades, a lot of stuff, heads rolling all over the place and that kind of thing. Oh, that's, it's very disturbing what yeah, you can, can see in games right now. But basically what parents should do is not have the game inside the kid's bedroom. Put it out in a common yes. area, see what your kids are doing, and play it with them, right? That's a very good point. Get involved. I mean, you might have a little fun yourself as well, playing the games with them. But most importantly, you're going to see what they're doing. You're going to see what that content is, and then you can make rational decisions about what they should or should not play. All right. And PlayStation 3 runs for? That one runs about 400 as well. $400. Yep. Joshua Fillinger, thank you so much for coming in. Glad to be here. Making sense of video games for us. Sure. All right. Thank you for watching Parents TV. Our families, our lives.